Hey everyone, it's me Curtis and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys three things to make sure that you do before you purchase or bring home a hamster. Really little quick disclaimer, um, this video is not to be put out there in order to say these are the only three things that you need to know before taking home a hamster, but in addition to uh, other extensive research that you do, these things should be taken into account before you actually decide to go to the store or wherever and pick up your Alright, so getting right on into this uh, video, the first thing that you should do, which I know you've heard before, is to have the cage set up. Like I said, I know people say this all the time, and this is a general fact, but a lot of times people do not set up their cages before their hamster comes home. And if you get a hamster like I have, like Jasper that loves to chew, even on a like a 10 to 15 minute ride home, he almost got out of the box. So if you have to even sit your hamster down and set the cage up, that is just giving them more time to become stressed and more time to be in that closed, uh, dark space. So that's why I definitely say to have the cage set up and it's also just a good feeling to be prepared and just ready for your hamster to go right into their new home. The second thing to do, which is extremely helpful guys with taping, um, is to, before your hamster comes home, I want to say for like the first, uh, I want to say for about the first, I want to say about three to five days before you actually go out to get your hamster, you just rub your hands like routine through the bedding in your hamster's cage. What this is going to do is put your scent inside of their cage without them needing to see you or be there um, in order for them to get used to your smell. This is also a good way for you to begin taming before the actual like initial three to five days that you should not touch your hamster when you first get them, which makes it very much more easy for the whole taming process when you begin that a couple days after bringing your hamster home. The third tip is one of the best tips that I have that I don't really hear people talking about too much and that is to when you go pick up your hamster bring home a sample of the food that they are currently on. Most pet stores when you buy a hamster or adopt a hamster from them will have no problem giving you a small sample of food that the hamster is currently on you usually won't have to buy a bag but unfortunately if they don't let you just take some that they already have you may have to buy a new bag but this is because you don't want to go from one strict diet to a completely different diet as that can really upset your hamster's digestive system and actually make them very very sick chances are that if you're going to a very um chain pet store they're not feeding their hamsters the best thing probably like KT Lab Blocks and KT Fiesta hamster food so to go from that to the most recommended diet, which is the Higgins, Missouri uh, mix food, then that's a big difference in nutrition. So to go from one cold right to the next can be very hard on your hamster. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that if you are a beginner about to get a hamster or are getting a hamster again for the first time in a while, that this video is helpful to you and that you may take some of these things into consideration before bringing your new hamster home. These tips have definitely been helpful for me and I hope they are just as helpful for you all. If you want to see more future videos just like today's, make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss those. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram where you're just at Curtis Hussain, just like my channel name. I also run my own Etsy shop where I sell pet supplies um, for small animals, reptiles, I sell bug food, all that type of stuff. So if you would like to check that out, you can click on the link in the description of today's video to get there. Until next time, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Yeah, this ain't no sugar coated love